definitely me being at Morgan State is definitely a blessing. You know, um, I love the I love the university. You know, I love playing for Morgan State, and I'm going to love the feeling when you know we win the MEAC championship. But um, the transition, the reason why I say it was heartbreaking because I did commit and I was offered by University of Louisville. You know, I took a visit up there, met with the, the whole staff. You know, they had a big article about me in the Gazette about me committing to Louisville. And then when I came up ineligible, you know, it, it kind of it kind of hurt my feelings. I was in my feelings because I put in a lot of work in to, you know, to become eligible. I retook a lot of classes. And like I said, you know, I really changed who I was. So when I came up ineligible and I wasn't able to accept the scholarship, I was heartbroken. You know, tears did come to my eyes. I felt that all the work I put in was for nothing. I honestly thought my world was over. Um, that I couldn't go to school and play ball like I, I dreamt to uh, do. You know, my new dream, my new motivation. It was kind of shattered for a second. Rankin, slow to get up, but boy, he made a huge pick to shut down this accurate drive. Yes, he did. He plays the ball better than the wide receiver Smith. He adjusts to the ball and comes down with it. They tried him a couple times a day, and he's come up successful. Number four, this week from Darren Seneca, from here at Seneca Valley, the first fall going into college, I had missed maybe the first three weeks of the college semester. The year I was supposed to, you know, transition into college. So I was home, actually doing nothing, you know, because I couldn't get into school. You know, my grades as a regular student weren't good enough to, to be uh, admit for a university. So, you know, I couldn't get into the schools and stuff like that. It was real tough for me. I didn't fill out no applications. The timing was all messed up, you know, because I found out last minute that I wasn't eligible. So I went home, I was at home, and then that's when I called from Morgan State. And um, Coach Hill called me. Um, they had previously recruited me here when I was in Senate, but I never really took them up on, you know, their offers because I was getting offers from, from bigger schools. So, you know, they, they uh, called me again. They said, yeah, we heard you, you know, wasn't at Louisville and stuff like that, and you know, what, what, what were my plans? And I was just like, you know, I'm at home, really not doing nothing. And they were like, well, come up the more. You know, so I went up there immediately the next day, and um, basically Coach Ed, he took care of me. You know, he took care of me. You know, he, he, uh, he got me in the school, I filled out applications and stuff like that. Coach Ed took care of me, and um, he basically gave me a home. And um, I sat out for a year because I still wasn't eligible. I became eligible in the spring, which was different because you usually sit out for a whole year. But since there was uh, some messed up stuff in my status and stuff, that was incorrect at the time. I ended up becoming a qualifier in the spring. So I was able to participate in spring ball. And, you know, after that, you know, when I became eligible, I was thinking about leaving and transferring to a bigger school. And, uh, you know, my mom, she always raised me to be loyal and never bite the hand that feeds you. So I took it as a blessing from God. And I was like, you know what? Morgan did a lot, Coach Hill did a lot to get me in school, so I'm gonna stay. So that's what I did, and I've just been really grinding and been motivated to, you know, bring W to the university and go for that MEAC championship. Well, Joe's main goal this year, first of all, is the team, you know, to have a, a championship here in the MEAC and with Morgan State University. You know, personal goal, Joe wants to be the best. Like I said before, his goal is to be an All-American and be the best at his position. The support is always there coming from uh, Mark Smith. You know, he's like my father, as I said previously. Um, he's always supporting me, you know, always telling me I'm really not that good, you know, just keep me humble 
and motivated always, you know, give me some type of motivation to, to get better, to achieve more, and, and to be great. So, you know, he always pushes me to be the best I can be, and I always look forward to that, you know, after the game. What's up, Smith? You know, what I do wrong? What you see out there? What you hear? What can I work on? What should I do? And, you know, he always, you know, keeps it straight with me and tells me what I need to do and that I need to step it up, you know, every single week. You know, Joe's goal this year is to be an All-American. Uh, we've talked about that, his hard work and dedication. Uh, many of the same qualities we bring to Pro Power, you know, in our community and our annual football campus. Excellence and giving your best on and off the field and in your community. Uh, Joe is a, is a great example of that. And, you know, I'm very proud of him this year, you know, has four interceptions. And, you know, as far as my mother, you know, she's going to be at the homecoming game. You know, and this is actually going to be her first game of the season. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to that. Also, uh, my little brother Elijah, you know, he's going to be at the game as well with his uh, adopted family. You know, my mother put him up for adoption when he was uh, three years old. So, this is going to be my first time seeing him in a real long time. You know, I've been, you know, speaking to him through the telephone and stuff, and I'm just really, really excited to see him because it's been a, a few years since I haven't seen him. So. It's kind of, I'm kind of blessed that God, you know, used me as a football player to kind of bring my whole family back together. So it's kind of a sweet situation. Um, for the rest of the season, you know, as a team, we just uh, want to continue to dominate, want to uh, continue to excel, you know, on offense, defense, and special teams, and just continue to be coached up and, you know, do what the coaches tell us to do and execute on the field. You know, every single rep, every single down, every single play of the game. And, you know, we'll just continue to, to win, a, uh, win a MEAC championship and uh, just continue to execute.